Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHose.com. Thank you for clicking on the video today and hanging out with me here on Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. Today, I'm in Bowling Green, Kentucky, just down the street from the National Corvette Museum, which is awesome. But today, we are here at the Family Dream Homes in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And we're gonna take a tour of this awesome little home right here. This is the Sandalwood Excel 32684X built by Fleetwood Homes Lafayette. Now this home is a four bed, two bath, and it sits at 2,040 square feet. The dimensions of this home is a 68 by 32. And hang out till the end so you can check out the floor plan and get the price. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, everyone, let us see what we have today here in Bowling Green. Walking in, as you can see, we have a board and batten open floor plan. Um, this home is on the more affordable side of things, which we'll get to um, at the end of the video. So check that out then and take a look at that floor plan at the end to see what you have available. Just to let you know, the size of this living room is 18 feet by 14 feet, 8 inches. That's a pretty darn good size. You have two windows there to let that natural light in. Not too bad. I personally would like them to be a little bit but it's not too shabby and then spin it around let's take a look at our dining room area and our kitchen area as we walk into the dining room area the size of this is actually another decently sized um, area this is 10 feet by 14 feet 6 inches um, plenty of ample space for a bigger table they have a round one sitting here with four chairs but you can add a lot more um, and if you want to know more about the options some some of the uh, features and everything about this home there is a link in the description below that'll take you directly to this floor plan that's where you can see some more photos that we took some video some 3d tours and get that pricing directly from a retailer near you so click on that if you would like to know more about this home and as we're taking a look at this kitchen, um, that lighting there, that's not too bad. I like that style. I like that design. I'm seeing that in a few other homes. Um, and it's actually a nice accented piece. You know, over here you have more than ample storage. We have four drawers. I mean, excuse me, four cupboards here. The top and bottom, the only thing is, is the shelves are not adjustable. Um, the backsplash is a pretty nice tile there. We have your common um, countertop design and style right there. Nice farmhouse sink with a pull-down faucet. That's pretty cool. Nice backsplash. This home, as you can see, is uh, set up for electrical. And, uh, you know, depending on where you live and what you need, you can always change that. So click on that. I do like that backsplash behind the stove. Um, that's a nice look right there. Um, very common uh, range hood right there. And take a look at some more of the, uh, the construction here. As you can see again, the uh, shelves are not adjustable. They are fixed where they're at. So for some people, that might be a deal breaker. For some, eh, might not even bother. More than ample storage in your drawers. <laughs> it's new, so it was a little tough to get out there. Nice overall, pretty decent, decently nice kitchen. stainless steel refrigerator right there we have some shelves above there so you can you know store some more a decent sized island I would have to say with the even more storage uh, options underneath really quite nice now let's go take a look at some of the guest areas and while we walk back there just to let you know this house the um, registers are on the floor they are not up top so your air and heat is coming from the floor Taking a look, we have a nice little um, foyer here <laughs> by the uh, family area. So we'll take a look at, at that in a second, but let's take a look at our guest room here. Um, we have, of course, this is board and batten. We have a, a, a VOG um, style design on the wall on the right-hand side, nice little accent color. We have some wire shelves over here that gives you a decent amount of storage for your uh, linens and things. Personally, I would like a closet but what do you guys think let me know and like I said there's that uh, VOG accent wall right there um, there's a there's a few options and colors that you can choose from for that so that's pretty cool and then swinging around here we have our standard 30 by 60 shower tub combo fiberglass 
cool. Now, this uh, restroom is a, uh, a Jack and Jill, so it actually goes into your laundry room, which we'll spin around back to um, in a little bit. But that was the guest bath, which is actually a pretty decent size, I'd have to say. Let's go check out the first guest room. Now, this first guest room uh, right here is 10 feet 8 inches by 10 feet 10 inches, and you can see the registers are there on the floor. We have uh, stripped molding around the home. Nice accent, gives a little bit of color. And then in the closet, decent, um, decent amount of room. You have your um, wired shelves right there, of course. It's not bad. Kind of, I kind of like the flow back here. Actually, you know, it kind of opens up, makes it bigger, you know, and bigger and bigger. I'm um, walking into the uh, second guest room. This one's a little, a little a touch smaller. It's 10 feet six inches by 10 feet 10 inches. Um, you know, this room is a whopping two inches smaller. So don't let the siblings fight over it. Might not be a good thing, uh, but pretty much a mirror image of the other room. Um, let's take a look at the closet right quick good amount of room good amount of space wired shelves cool good amount of room in this in this uh, bedroom now let's take a look at the uh, third guest room. Now this third guest room is actually quite big. You can call it almost call it a second primary. Uh, the size of this room is 11 feet by 14 feet 6 inches. So it's a little more on the uh, rectangle side of things, but more than ample room. A nice big window. Let that light in. That's pretty nice. Now this one has a little bit of a smaller closet, I've noticed, but that's okay. You kind of, you know, trade off with the with the amount of room that you have in the, the bedroom there. And now let's go take a look at this family room. Um, that is one one thing that's kind of cool about this house is you do have this extra family room. You ha do have more space. You have three big windows there on the right-hand side. You can choose an accent wall on the far side right there. The size of this room is 17 feet 3 inches by 14 feet 6 inches. Now, this is basically one foot smaller than your living room. So... I don't know, what would you guys do with this room? Personally, uh, my family are a bunch of techies, so I would put my computer room back here, all the video games, everything. What would you do with this, uh, this area if you had this home? Let me know in the comments below. And um, now let's go walk the long ways to the other side of the home so we can check out the primary. And in the meantime, um, if you have, oh wait, I forgot, let's go and go over here first. I was just kidding. Let's take a look at our utility room, laundry room. And right there, of course, you can see that's where your water access is, your air unit right there. Um, and then spinning around, we're going to take a look and we see plenty of room for your side by side. You have your wired shelf up top. There's your door to the backyard, outside, or patio if you're going to build one. Like I said, this is kind of like a, a Jack and Jill. This, this one even comes with a nice little uh, wash sink here and off to the right-hand side. There is the, uh, the guest bath. Okay. And then we have a little pantry area here with uh, three wired shelves for your convenience. That's pretty cool. But, you know, like I was about to say a second ago, if you haven't had a chance yet, now is your time to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted and you'll be able to catch up to where I am um, all over the U.S. and catch out these great homes, the, the most affordable ones and the most expensive graduates ones. Click on that. Follow along. And now we're in the primary. Um, one thing that I did notice about this home is they have can lights everywhere, which is nice and convenient. A lot of times those are LED lights, which last forever and saves you electricity. Um, but the primary right here is 14 feet 8 inches by 13 feet 6 inches. 
which is a really big room. Um, just in comparison to that other, the other guest, you know, that was 11 feet. So you basically, this is two feet bigger than the other room. And now we're in the primary bath that comes with a nice little soaker tub right there in the corner with easy access on the right and left for your water and everything else like that. Nice little window right above there, which is a nice little addition. That is where your commode is, right off there into the corner, hiding behind the linen storage cabinet, I guess you could say. Or take a look and see how much room we have here. I'm not sure. Nope, those are not adjustable shelves, just to let you know. And as you can see, we have another accent wall here. Um, the countertops, the same design as the uh, kitchen, which is nice. Nice big mirrors color-coded to the rest of the home and then of course we have a shower right here in case you don't have time for that uh, nice little soaker tub Pretty nice. we have a transom window in your primary closet so let's take a look at that good amount of room good amount of room and the community split. Some people would, would rather have the uh, primary closet in the room. Some don't care. What are your thoughts? Let me know. This is a pretty decently sized uh, primary bath for this home, I'd have to say. It's looking pretty good. And there's that. So, yeah. Nice little home, nice little home tour. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Just to let you know, this home right here goes for about $210,000 on average. This one, as you can see, it had a lot special uh, a sticker on there. So give Family Dream Homes a call in Mo Bowling Green, Kentucky. They might be able to help you out with a great deal here. So check that out. But I'm looking forward to the next home tour, and I hope you are too. We'll see you then, but in the meantime, remember to live smarter, choose manufactured, have a wonderful day, and travel easy.